www.nancyoradioshow.com. You're tuned in to nancyoradioshow.com, and it is now time for my favorite, absolutely favorite time of the week, Where's Hip Hop, our weekly segment with Randy Roper, music editor of Ozone Magazine. Hey, Randy. Nancy, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing okay. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Late, but happy Valentine's Day nonetheless. Yes, same to you as well. All right. So, Randy, what do we have on deck for this week? This week, Nancy, it really pains me to talk about the one. We got to go ahead and talk about Little Kim. <laughs> now, uh-huh. everybody knows Little Kim. She's been shooting with Nicki Minaj, and she dissed Nicki in the public, and Nas came back with Roman's Revenge with a song on her album that keeps on back to Little Kim. Little Kim released a diss record called Black Friday. And then last week, she released a mixtape called Black Friday and a video where the video was poking fun at Nicki Minaj. Furthermore, 28 hours after the release of the Black Friday mixtape, Little Kim went on Twitter and she announced that her mixtape sold 100. And 13,000 copy, mind you, <laughs> that is through PayPal. People actually ordered physical copy of her mixtape, not iTunes, not Amazon, but PayPal. 113,000 <laughs> copies of Little Kim's Black Friday mixtape is what Kim say that she sold. All of this, which fancy, what do you have to say to Little Kim? This whole campaign seems bootleg as hell. I can say that. I'm wondering, does her PR team not care about her? You're the queen bee. Why are you putting your brand new, supposedly come back and get them mixtape on PayPal? Can you not get it posted up on iTunes? Can you not get it posted up on Amazon and their digital downloads? Why can we not get an electronic copy? This ain't 1996. Why can we only get your mixtape and a hard copy? Also, queens, they do not engage in beef. I've been saying this on Twitter all week, Randy. Anybody who follows me on Twitter, if you are a queen, you do queen stuff. Queens don't engage in petty beefs, okay? I mean, when Little Kim first dropped the beef back in November, I was like, oh, yeah, Little Kim, she got it. Yeah, she's going in. But then as time has gone on, it's like... You the queen bee. Why are you dragging this out? And why would you put numbers of a hundred and how many ever thousand? It's so easy to check those numbers online. This is the transparency age. You should not be putting false information. I'm so disappointed in Little Kim's brand, Randy. It is just, I'm almost embarrassed for her. And the whole thing just goes to show you how out of, out of touch Lil' Kim is the present day and age. The internet, the media, and she doesn't understand anything that's going on right now. I used to love Lil' Kim. Hardcore was one of my favorite albums. But that came out back in 1996. That's 15 years ago. Her last album was released. That was six years ago, too. And that was a naked truth. But now, that's Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is buzzing. It's all about young money, cash money. It's not about Lil' Kim and Jimmy Mafia. Rod Digger is doing. Rod Digger dropped an album. Mind you, it was underground, and I know a lot of people weren't checking for it like that, but it did decent numbers. She dropped it back in November. It's called Classic. Then, also, Rod Digger has a show next Friday in Brooklyn, and she's doing that show alongside Liquid from South Carolina, alongside Eternia from Canada. So, Rod Digger is embracing the next generation. She's doing shows with them. They have a tour this spring where Rod Digger is headlining with all the other independent, uh, younger female rappers. Rod Digger has not thrown any salt on any other younger female rappers. She's actually reaching out to them. She actually also worked with Rhapsody on Rhapsody's new mixtape over at IWW. 
little Kim needs to take notes from Rod Digger. That's how you preserve your legacy while at the same time reaching out to the next generation and work with them. Then everybody wins together. Exactly. Little Kim got no friends, man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Because friends wouldn't let friends go out there and look crazy. I just... That's what everybody around Little Kim just let her go out there and act the fool and look like a donkey. Does she have right, a team? Kim, kindness over. Big ups to my diggers for going out there and supporting the new generation of female artists. But Little Kim is going out there and being a, being a performer. Does Little Kim even have a team? I wonder if she even has a team behind her. Because they're advising her all around, all wrong. She's probably done. That's why she's all messed up with that and that. Ain't nobody paying no money on PayPal for you. You're having those other people beat you. They ain't even And then you're going to sell it. I don't get surprised somebody goes out there and sue Lil' Kim for the same 500 copies of the thing that she sold. No, don't forget, she sold 113 copies. 113 copies. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. oh my gosh. Where is Hip Hop Episode 75? Randy, can you please drop your website? Yes, ma'am. Please check out my website, writersblogmedia.net. Check it out.